Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will talk uh, about a model, a slim tube model. So it's actually we can, or we in literature, uh, the, the authors, the researchers usually perform slim tube simulation because it's doable in laboratory scale. So I think it's it's very useful for us to know a little bit about slim tube simulation. And we are going to use template file from Eclipse, but later I will run the, the model in T Navigator. But you can of course run in Petrel RE or directly to the Eclipse or T Navigator. Okay. And we will briefly discuss about the script that we can run. Okay, so here in the available file, it's simulation of a 10 meter slim tube. We will use lab unit and we will involve five components. All right. And Peng Robinson equation of state will be used. So the, the grid dimension 200, 200 grid to the X direction, only one, one layer in y direction and also one layer for z direction and it's fully implicit solution method will be used and of course because we run in laboratory scale the unit will be adjusted to to the lab unit centimeter something like that right and we will involve only oil and gas with no water okay so yep first thing first we open with run spec and then we will use oil and then the keyword and gas full imp the keyword to apply the fully implicit method and this is the dimension for the grid as mentioned here 200 by 1 and by 1 so 200 to x direction 1 to the y direction and 1 to the z direction make sure you close with slash and we will use Cartesian coordinate thus we type in cart here and a lab to apply the lab unit and comps we will have five component by the way it's a compositional simulation in Eclipse you run with e300 so we will involve five components so open the keyword with comps and then five there and close with dash slash I mean and then it's a miscible miscible case so I apply miscible to enable the miscibility between oil and gas all right and that's for the the first section this the next section is grid so for the grid it's 200 200 grid but each grid will have five centimeter okay the the length of the x grid will be five centimeter right thus if i here so 200 multiplied by five will be 1000 okay 1000 centimeter so finally it's 10 meters okay and cross section is one square centimeter so dy 200 by 1, dz 200 by 1, okay? And then porosity and permeability. So we have actually 200 grids, okay? Because it's 200 multiplied by 1 and multiplied by 1. So it's 200. And all the grid blocks will have the same, the uniform porosity of 0 0.1. And again, the uniform permeability in x direction, 2000 millidarcies. The uniform permeability in y and z direction, again, 2000 millidarcies. So it's perfectly homogeneous slim tube. And then depth of cell centers, it's so we apply the keyword MITS 200 and by 100. The, the depth of the cell center, 100 centimeter. 
Fred. So that's all for the grid section.